Yeah. Angel, you are the one I'm talking to. Yeah. You said you saw Jessica crying. Yeah. When and where? Um, a couple of minutes ago, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay, when? As in where? Where did you see her cry? Um, I was looking for Ensika. I went outside okay. and uh, she wasn't there. So I went to their room. And um, as I opened the door, Jessica was there. Like her, uh, she was sitting at the floor and then her back was facing Okay, the door. the door, yeah. And um, when I asked about Ensikak, she turned around and then her eyes were very red. And okay, did you, did you see tears on her eyes? Yes, there were. Did you ask her why she was crying? No, I didn't ask anymore. I just closed, you just closed the door. Uh, Ensikak, are you aware of this? Yes, I you, saw you With your own eyes? Yes, she cried so seriously. Did you ask her why? She said nothing. Okay, so that's why both of you came to me. Yes, yes, yes. So do what's going on about it. Because, well, Angela, I believe that you're the one who's, um, who's like in the yes. proper place to talk to her. Yes. Yeah, about her. Yes. yes. To help her out. Yes. Okay. The thing is, uh, let me tell you guys something. I don't know if it has happened to both of you before. Sometimes in life, you think about something, maybe from the past, some, you get this trigger from the past, like the past thoughts, things that has happened to you in the past, or you're, you're just in a very good place and it is overwhelming. Yeah. Do you understand? It is really, really overwhelming. You start to cry. Like It could be tears of joy. Yeah. It could be tears of sadness. We don't know. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. But it is good sometimes. It's, sometimes tears can be very, very satisfying. It can be relieving. Do you understand? So let her be. Don't talk to her about it. Don't ask her why she was crying. Don't ask her what's going on. Just treat her like you didn't even notice she was crying. Do you understand? Yeah. If it happens again, if you notice her crying again, tell, come and tell me. Then I will talk to her. I will sit her down to ask her why because you found out before and it's not the first time it's happening. For now, just let her be. Jessica found herself in this environment that... Do you understand that she that she's not aware of? She didn't know that these things like this exist. She met me, met Mr. Austin, met you and Nancy Kak and Aria. There's so much love we are spreading and we are giving to her. So it's possible that she's just overwhelmed because she feels she's not deserving of love. You understand? And she's getting it. But are you sure you didn't tell her anything, Angel? Are you sure you didn't say anything to her? No, we were we were just worried about her. Because yeah, I know. I mean, before then, are you sure you didn't say anything that, to her that would make her? I uh, okay, it's just just let her be. The feeling is her feeling is normal. It's, this thing is bound to happen, even maybe once in a while. Do you understand? It doesn't mean that she's sad or angry or anything. You know, she Jessica is getting along gradually now. She's getting better. Do you understand? Yes. So we are giving her a lot of love. This is enough to heal her. We we'll keep yes. No, she will. We, we keep doing our best. You can see that she's uh, a bit, a bit um, freer now, unlike when she newly came. Yes. We are getting there. I know deep down in my heart that it's nothing. I've, I've helped people with bigger issues than, yeah. than Jessica. Yeah. And they got better, so we'll do it. Let her be, okay? You can go.